Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Maybe not guys, guys, gals. Crazy crafting friends, that, that, there we go. Crazy crafting friends. Hello, my crazy crafting friends. Here we are for another crazy train uh, whip and chat. Um, for all the new faces here, welcome. Thank you for um, hopping on that crazy train with the rest of us. Um, I'm on a wee bit of a time constraint, so I'm just going to jump right in. Um, let's see. Um, and the time constraint is because Tim is going on a trip tomorrow. So he's getting off work early so we can go on a little date night. And um, his friend is coming to spend the night that's going on this trip with him. So we need to do a little bit of touching up before he gets here. Anyway, um, I hope that this week finds you all very well. Um, and that you guys are doing good, you know, all the things, mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, all of the things. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Please don't take my haste as a disregard for how you guys are feeling. Um, that's just because I am stubborn and trying to get this video recorded today on my normal recording day. Um, because I don't want to do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm hoping to actually edit it tomorrow and get it uploaded. Anyway, boring creator details that nobody cares about. Um, and that nobody asked for. So, I left you guys off last week on the 2nd. Um, and so, you know, it's Thursday, so the huge. I went to work, and it was work. And then I came home, and I only worked one hour of o overtime on Thursday because my co co-worker was still out. Um, so I was home by like 6.15. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, because my boss came in and she, she stayed and finished up the rest of the shift with the other gal. Um... It was a busy phone day. Thankfully, there wasn't many nasty people, so that makes the busy phone calls a little bit easier to swallow, so to speak. Because I tell you what, when you are getting bombarded phone call after phone call after phone call and people are just mean and nasty, it does a number on you, I tell you. Um... I start questioning sometimes if I'm even a good person at that point because they have belittled me so much, which I don't know why people feel that they can like have the right to do that to somebody that's a customer service representative. You know what I mean? For the longest time when Tim would call customer service representatives, I would tell him all the time, be nice, not their fault. <laughs> and it finally stuck, so... It's a thing. It should be a thing. Don't be mean to customer service representatives, okay? They, most of the time, they are just, you know, finding about, finding out about these things when you call. So, that's my PSA from me to you. In the trucking industry, anyway. I can't speak for any other industry. So, anywho's, that is basically all I have written for Thursday was I worked one less, only one hour of overtime and people were not as nasty on the phone as they normally are and that my boss came in. So super exciting day for me to remember. <laughs> That's one for the books. Um, let's see. Then Friday, yay for Fridays. Can I just, whew. yeah, yay for Fridays. Um, let's see, I wrote, I, oh. Mm. So I went to work and then I came home and I was like, I am going to stay up late because Tim had a Nerf event that is um, once a month. And I was like, I'm going to stay up and diamond paint. Well, joke's on me, sort of. My body was like, ha, you chug that energy drink, but I'm still tired. Let's go to bed. So I go get into bed thinking, ha, 
I'm going to go to sleep even though I chugged that big old energy drink. Well, body went, ha, joke's on you again. We're going to stay up till 1 o'clock in the morning. But you're still somehow too tired to actually go diamond paint and make use of that time, right? So I laid in bed until 1 o'clock in the morning and fell asleep. I was fell asleep. I was so like bummed out. I was like, oh, I could have gotten so much diamond painting done, but alas. <sighs> um, and then, sorry, I got to itch my eye real fast. Um, and I need to take a drink of water cause chatting, I get thirsty. Um, Again, sorry if you can hear my very loud, or what I feel is very loud, um, swallows and or gulps of water. Um, but yeah, I usually don't even stay up that late normally. Like 10 or 11 and I'm like tuckered out. Like 11 is even a rarity for me. Like my family jokes that I'm an old lady because I'm always in bed by like 8.30 not so much anymore since I've been married to Tim, but when I was single, man, like clockwork, 8.30, don't call Janae, she's in bed. Um, <laughs> which, don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing. Like, I like, you know, I'm a creature of habit, I like it. Mock me all you want. Um, anyway... Yeah, so I, I diamond painted for a couple of hours, got tired, and then I watched Vampire Diaries until 1 o'clock in the morning. So that was super fun, and excuse my burp that I tried to hide. Sorry, it sneaked up on me. Not going to try and edit that out, because my editing skills like that, not that stellar. This is me, this is real life, take it or leave it. Um, Anywho... That was Friday. On Saturday, I got up and I diamond painted for like a couple, sorry, shocks right underneath me, um, a couple of hours. Then I got to, went to the grocery store to get some things that I told my sister I would get to help with the, the family activity on Sunday. Um... My brain if you guys find my brain let me know um anyway so then I went over to um I called my sister and I was like hey I'm on my way to your house I've got the stuff from the store and I've got my waffle irons because she was doing a, a waffle bar after the the main event and uh so she's doing waffle bar food and she's like, okay, well, I'm over at my friend's house. You should come over. She's in the neighborhood um, from their church. And she's like, we're uh, making syrup for said waffle bar. Now, I love my sister. She's a little extra. Um, she does not like maple syrup. Um, and so she made... For this waffle bar, she made cinnamon syrup, butter pecan syrup, mind you this is all from scratch, coconut syrup, lemon cream syrup, cinnamon, butter pecan, coconut, lemon cream, and I think buttermilk was the other one. I feel like there's one more. Cinnamon, buttermilk, butter pecan, lemon, coconut. There might have been one. One more, but at least five. From scratch. She made them from scratch. She was at her friend's house making them. Apparently it's a thing they do. Um, they get together on Saturdays and bake tasty treats. Treats. That's what I call treats. Treats. Um... Anyway, so she's like, come on over. So I went over there and helped a like teeny tiny bit um, because they were almost done. 
And then we went back to her house and she and I had some lunch and one of her coworkers called and they were going to do a lunch for her birthday or a dinner, excuse me, a dinner. Mind you, by this time, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. And she had completely forgot about it. Sorry, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any of this symbol, which I poured way too much, but oh well. Um, and so she's like, you should come. I'm like, okay. I mean, I've met her coworkers a lot of times because um, my sister's a nurse and she works for an OBGYN and she's actually the nurse for my OBGYN, which I know might sound a little strange, but I'm telling you, it's really nice to have your sister, like, A, be able to explain all the mumbo jumbo to you and B, like, I'm on a personal friend base basis with my OBGYN <laughs> because she's come over to my sister's house multiple times. My sister and I have helped her with a couple of projects for her kids for school and stuff. So, like, I intimately know my OBGYN, which I think is kind of funny and cool. But anyway, um, so we went to, she invited me to this impromptu dinner and thankfully nobody minded. Um... And her little co-worker is from, one of her co-workers is from Russia. And oh my gosh, she's the cutest thing. I just, I just want to put her in my pocket. <laughs> um, we had a lot of fun. And then, um, we were out for, gosh, a couple, three hours. But it was a lot of fun. Um, and then... Sunday, we went to my sister's church um, for the activity. Um, activity sounds so silly. Her grandson, so my nephew's son, William, that was born in December, they blessed him. So after that was done, we went back to her house and did the, the woofle bar um, with all of the syrups. And that was a lot of fun. Um, and then Tim and I went home for a couple of hours and then we went back out to Christopher and Gabby's for dinner because I, Tim told Christopher I was making chicken roll-ups and chicken roll-ups is like t Christopher's absolute most favorite thing. And so he's like, you guys have to come over and we'll play games. And so we went over, played games, ate dinner. I got to play Hogwarts Legacy, which is only out on PC right now. Um, it should be... I know it's uh, dropping for the Switch in May. but uh, So I would assume that it's dropping for all systems in May. And that's a fun game. And I'm super de duper excited to um, play it. Like, be able to play it all the live long day. Um, so, yeah. And then... Oh, yeah. And then after I was done playing that game for a little bit, um, we played uh, Jack in the Box games. It's... Um, you can download it on the Switch. I'm not sure if it's on other, like, Xbox... If it's, not, like, on the Xbox or PlayStation or whatever. But you load up the game, and then everybody goes to a website... And you log into the specific room for the game that you're, you know, playing. So you're not playing with a bunch of stranger danger. Um, and then you can control on the switch. You basically just use your phone to answer the questions or whatever. And it's super fun. Like the one we're playing is called Fake It. And one person out of your group has to fake their answers. Um, so like one of the questions is like, we it got super weird. Thankfully we're all really good friends and you know, family, whatever. Um, it was all raise your hand if you've ever farted. And so if you're the faker, you have to guess whether, cause all it says is, you know, you have to blend in. And so it's like, do you raise your hand or don't you raise your hand? Cause you don't know what the question is. And then everybody else has to guess if you're the faker or not. It, it, it is super fun. Um, I unfortunately had to be the faker and got found out in the first question because not fair. 
So everybody else's question was, name a celebrity that you hate. My prompt as the faker was just name a celebrity. So I, in my stupidity, named Jensen Ackles. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I am a huge Supernatural fan, fan and I am a huge Jensen Ackles fan. And as soon as Tim saw that come up on the screen, he's like, Janae's the faker. <laughs> so they found me out in like 2.5 seconds. So that was fun. Um, but anyway, so we played that a couple rounds of that and then we went home. And then Monday, you know, get up, go to work. I had another late day because Crystal still wasn't back up to tip top shape. Um, turned out she got bron bronchitis too. Um, and so, but I didn't have too late of a night that night either. I do believe Milka came up and relieved me. So I was able to come home. And then that night, Tim went and played cards and I told him, I will meet you guys for dinner after cards. Cause they go just across the street to JCW's and they eat before they all, you know, part their ways or whatever. Um... So I did that and his one buddy came all the way from Provo, came up to meet me. He was so excited to meet me because I guess Tim talks about me all the time and it was really fun. They're a good group of guys and I'm super, I, I was, it was nice to eat them, meet them and I think I might do that once a month. I haven't told Tim that so that's between us. I need to tell him still. So anyway, um, Tim had to take a couple of his buddies home, a couple of his buddies home before he could come home. So, um, I obviously got back home before he did. Um, and then Tuesday got up, went to work. Um, I was hoping I wrote down specifically, hopefully the last late day, which it was thankfully crystal did come to work on wednesday so i was super excited about that i told tim i was i'd never been so excited to see crystal in my life um <laughs> but uh yeah so it worked i think milka ended up coming up that night too no she didn't i sent bills to crystal and then she billed from home um and tim and i did come to the very tough decision um, and I might get a little emotional talking about it just because today the ninth is three years since I put my poodle down um, we did decide to put Jacques down we have not done it yet um, I wanted to wait until um, March is over with because I, like I said, I had to put Maddie down three years ago. Uh, my Chowini Cavi died very unexpectedly um, March 3rd of 2019. So I just, I didn't want to put another dog down in March. But now that I've made the decision, I, this is going to sound so awful, but just know that it comes from a place of pure love because now that I've made that decision, I, I just want it over with. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it till the end of March. Um, so that's something else that I'm going to need to talk to Tim about because I'm sure he's down to do what, to do it whenever I just... I was the one that was like, I don't want to put another dog down in March, but I don't know if I can wait that long just because now that I've made the decision, all I see is the pain and suffering in his little eyeballs and I just want it to stop for him. I just don't want him to be in pain and suffering because I'm not ready to say goodbye. Yes, I've made the decision to do it. But I'm still not fully ready to say goodbye. But I know that I need to. So. Uh, 
that is to be determined. We'll see what happens. Um, but I do know that it's, it is what's best for him. And I've been grappling with this decision since about December. Tim did mention it in December and I cried hysterically. Not because I, it was for my own selfish reasons. I, I was not, and I am not ready to say goodbye, but I know that for his well-being, it is the best decision. He can go play with my Maddie and my Cabby. And Mr. Brutus, my sister's dog that she had to put down in January. So, yeah. Um, whew. Sorry, I have to blink my tears away because I can't see the canvas. <laughs> um, and then Tuesday, obviously, I just diamond painted after we made that decision. And then Tim went bowling. And now we're up to yesterday. You know, I went to work. Like I said, Crystal came back. Super excited. I got to come home at five. Um, I came home and I diamond painted. Did I diamond paint yesterday? No, I did not. Because I came home and Tim was going to go play cards, but we got some more snow and he didn't feel comfortable going out in the snow. At least going to the shop that he was going to go to, which is like 30 minutes away. So, um, he and I went to Hobby Lobby instead because one of you sweet, sweet viewers, I'm going to have to do an actual unboxing of it, but, uh, one of you, your name escapes me at the moment. So sorry. I am horrible with names now. I used to be really good with names. Not so much anymore. I don't know if it's a new trick from like being old or from getting old or if it's just fog brain or or what I don't know so I'm so sorry if I not if I have forgotten who told me that but um I did stop by Hobby Lobby by our house Tim and I went there yesterday and they had one kit left that was clearance that I wanted um because Tim Tim's dad just because it's on sale he has to buy all of it. So Tim's like, let's get all of these paintings. And I'm like, no, I don't want all of those paintings. I don't like all of those paintings. And if I don't like the painting, I don't want it. And so he always tells me, sorry, a bit of my dad sneaks out. I'm like, I know, I know. So he's aware. I'm aware. We make a big joke of it. Um, but I got, let's see if I can pull it out real fast. Uh, Strength Along the Journey by Chuck Pinson, and I might, like I said, I might do an unboxing. Um, of that, and currently in my stash I have seven paintings, and then I ordered two more off of Diamond Art Club's website. Um. I did, I got All Dogs Go to Heaven by Mandy Manzano. I believe is. I believe it's a Mandy Manzano. It looks like her style and, and everything, so I'm pretty sure it's that. And then I got uh, Ghost Stories by Randall Spangler. One of, it's a, it's for, I'm going to try and do Drills and Chills this year. Um, so it's a dragon, dragon, draglings. I've been calling them dragonlings, but I guess they're draglings. Um, you know, just the cute little dragons. Um, so I got those ordered and they hopefully will ship soon. I just barely ordered them last night. Um, so that's super exciting. Um, like I said, I might do an unboxing of that, uh, Chuck Pinson. It's a square. I love square. I have another Chuck, Chuck Pinson that's a, that's a round that I need to do. And then everything else is square. I just, I love the square kits so much. 
I don't know, they're, they're just so much more satisfying to me. Yes, I can work up a, a, a round super fast, but the square actually forces me to like savor it, I guess, is the best way to describe it. You know, because I have to be a little more meticulous about where I place my drills. Um, am I even in frame? Guys, am I, can you see what I'm doing? Not that you can answer me. Um, but anyway, so that was basically my week in a nutshell. Um, if I remember, hey, note to self, editing Janae, take screenshots of the paintings and I'll put them up right around here somewhere for you to see them. Um, and yeah, I think Tim and I are going to go back to Hobby Lobby after we've done a little bit of cleanup because we're going to go to dinner again. We're going to go to Olive Garden for dinner. And then hit another Hobby Lobby and see if I can score a couple more paintings. Because why not, right? If they're on sale. See if there's any other ones. If they're A, not cleaned out. And B, if there's any more that I would want. Because again, just because they're on sale does not mean I want them. Um, yeah, this was a really short video. Which I figured it would be because... We didn't have too terribly of an exciting week. And like I said, I um, am just trying to get, not get this out of the way. That's horrible. And I don't mean it that way. I'm just trying to get this done so that I can, you know, kind of sort of keep to a schedule. What it is, I'm just trying to keep myself on a schedule. That's really what it boils down to. Um... Yeah, so if you guys want to see anything else from me, like, I don't know. I keep toying with doing a knit project or a crochet project or, I don't know, any other kind of, if you want to watch me learn a, learn how to do something crafty, I would be willing to do that. Um, yeah, anyway, um, I guess that's where I'm going to stop it since I went through the blew through that week so fast because like I said it was uneventful and again not that that is a bad thing I like it um as always your comments are super appreciated and the likes are also super appreciated and everybody that actually makes it through the whole video like I said I've said it before you guys are the real heroes. Um, so I hope, hope this week finds you um, happy, healthy, safe, and warm out in this crazy weather we've been having. Yay for winter. Is it spring yet? Um, Because I'm ready for it. Spring, not summer. I'm ready for spring. Um, but that is all I ha see. I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep saying um, and then I'll, I'll tell you 500 times that I'll call. I'm just gonna say that we're done. So this is me putting down the drills, putting down the pen, calling it. All right. Um. Yes. Until next time. Be safe. Be healthy. Be kind. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.